All right. Well, we're well into the 40 millimeter cube calibration, and uh, I really didn't set everything up right. I was, uh, I don't know, you know, I put things on the back burner for so long. Sometimes you just got to press this, the go button. But it was pretty well calibrated after tinkering around and uh, just setting it all up. And uh, the extruder's been doing well. Maybe not quite as good a feed as I'd like. Uh, the hob gear might slip on the filament a little, but so far it looks pretty good on the edges. Uh, the checkerboarding effect, I'm sure, is just because I had my layer height set incorrect or something like that. Uh, it's a 40 millimeter cube. It measured at 40.06 uh, a little while ago, so that that's pretty good on that. Uh, the infill, you know, I, this is an old slicer program that I'm using, and uh, I'm sure it's been improved. And I installed the new one, but I had a little setup problem, so I went back to the old one just because I wanted to see it squirt some plastic. But. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's arc holes. There's uh, there is some PTFE a liner in there, but it's very thin. It's stainless tube right there with aluminum and uh, much more rigid. I hated that peak. You know that thing would flex around and just do things. Uh, we'll do some bridging tests later, but you know that's using the, I don't remember some old Maker Gear hub. Uh, extruder bolt or whatever you call it, uh, pulley, and then uh, I just had some fans laying around, just kind of cobbled this all together from different things, and uh, not too bad for the first print, the edges look decent going around the corners, uh, not too much excess, a little teeny bit, but you know, I just left some old extruder settings in there from a year ago, anyway, enjoy.